hello everyone welcome in cool id help so guys in this video tutorial we will see how to handle the button click action in the same example you can see on my screen we have a table view and we have these three buttons in three different roles so guys i will tell you how to connect all these buttons with a single button click action in the program here I'm using NetBeans ID and you can see this is the same project that I have used in my previous video. Also for the easiness I have given the download link of the same project. So you guys can download and import the same project in your NetBeans ID and you can explore more and you can do more experiment on this code. So guys let's get started and we will see how to do it. This is really simple. So let me remind you what we have done so far we have this table view example project so i hope you have downloaded and added in your netbeans id so here you will get these files dot fxml file one controller file and one data model this is person class and this is the table view example dot java which has a main method and a start method okay guys so we have nothing to do here in this so i'm going to close it no problem and the first change we have to made so come here in the person dot java data model class so in the previous example we have seen we have this person constructor but we have not added this okay so we have added one argument more here which is button because at the time of calling the initialize method in the fxml document controller here we have to pass the object of the button okay so the same button object will set inside the data model and that will display at this place as a button on this stage okay guys this is clear to you okay now come back here in the person class this is simple we have created this property and for the same we have created the getter and setter in the bottom okay okay so we have done here also for this purpose whatever we have passed at the time of calling the constructor the button object reference will assign here to this property and also we are setting the text on the button here inside the constructor okay so we are done with this person now come here in the fxml document controller in this file we have to do some small changes so guys we have to track the button click on the particular button for this purpose we have to create a button array so at line number 33 first i have created the button array of size 3 okay now come in the initialize method you can see i am using this for loop why because we have to connect each button with a action handler method so here i have written one action handler method and the name is handle button action which is defined here i hope this is clear to you okay so let me describe you the first line so in the first line we are inside the loop and we are running this loop up to the maximum length of the button array so for the example purpose i have taken the array size 3 so we are using all three in this for loop so while running the for loop in first iteration we are creating the new button also we are setting the on action with the help of this on action method and we have to pass like this so we are connecting this button to the handle button action method which is the action handler for this particular button in the same way we are using for all three buttons and we have connected all these three buttons to the handle button action this is action handler method so this is the main code okay guys rest are the same and come here in the observable list where we have to pass the button object so guys in some cases in your example suppose you are fetching the data 
from the database and you are preparing this observable list in some different way in that case you have to iterate and you have to pass the object like this you have to pass the button that means the first button second button and third button in my example I'm using the index and getting the first index object from this button array in the similar way getting the button object from the array index 1 and the next object from the array index 2 so in this way we are passing here okay and this person is the data model okay so this is the person we have already changed here and uh, this can take the button as an argument and it will set here into the property so the changes we made here okay so we have added these three buttons button index uh, at index 0 we are getting first object from uh, first index we are getting the second object and the second index we are getting the third object of the button okay that simple and nothing is changed here now one more thing you need to know suppose you have click any of the button okay now you have to detect which button has been clicked okay in that case we have to identify the object reference that means which object button is pressed to detect this thing we have to write code inside the action handler okay so this is this method is action handler and this method is defined just above the initialize method okay now we are inside this method so how you will detect so you have to use this event object and dot get source so this get source method will tell you which button is raising the event and that will return you the reference of that object okay and now we are comparing the same button reference here okay so in our case so the first condition will return true if you will press the first button now you have to press second button then how you will detect so you have to add one more line here like a else if okay do a copy of the same code again and paste it here so we are using else if in case you have pressed the second button on the ui okay now it will detect the second button is pressed now in case you have pressed the third button what you have to do you have to add these two lines more these two lines more here so we have chaining else if else if and now here we have to change the index because we are going to press the third button on the screen okay guys we have done here that's all so i have saved the code and now i will take a build of this project one more time and after that we will execute this okay build is successful now we are going to run it here we will observe okay guys so this is the stage and this is the console and I'm going to press the last button okay so guys uh, we getting the error index out of bound in some places we missed something so we will check one more time what's going wrong so at line number 42 we have done a small mistake because we have array length only three so one two and three and we are going to the 
beyond the array size that's why we were getting this exception now save this and let me take a build of this project again okay now it is ready to run yeah here it is now I'm going to press again the third button and we will see the output okay guys you can see the output button 3 is pressed okay so it is working perfectly now I will press the first button so I'm here going to press this first button okay you can see the output is correct first button is pressed now I will press the second button yeah that's that's amazing so guys this was the code for handling the button action if you still have any doubts so please comment below I will try to reply as soon as possible and guys don't forget to share subscribe and like this video keep smiling keep watching cool IT help I will bring more useful videos on JavaFX till then bye bye